Oh, here we go. Time for fun. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hmm. Oh, hey guys, uh, CS here. Welcome back to the uh, second part of the Treasure Trap Let's Play. Right now, I have the game paused here, and you'll notice that, uh, yes, I actually restarted and did much better, so I have all five of my lives intact, because I wasn't going to be able to do very much with just one life, to be perfectly honest. And also, I went back and collected some gold, which I had missed the first time. Now, last time, I didn't really do a lot of explaining about like the interface of the game or really much of anything. In the lower left, you see how much gold you've collected. To the left of that is the keys which you've currently picked up. Now, keys are needed to open doors, and you will see doors in the game with the corresponding key above them, which means that you need that key to open that door. And below that, you see helper fish, which are these green fish, which when you call them out, they will go around the room and eat all the enemies in that room. Uh, making it much safer. On the right hand side of the interface uh, we have the number of lives I have and my current air level which might run out pretty soon. Okay so let's get right into uh, playing more of this. Honestly one of the things about this game that I loved so much as a kid was the level design and just like you have to look at some of these rooms like it was unlike any other game that I had played at that time Not only because it was oh ho, gotta be fast here. Oh, I just made that. Oh, I missed my ride See I was supposed to ride on that stingray over to that box, but well, this is what I'm talking about the rooms were absolutely like innovative in my opinion um, uh, oh, 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 we got the floating barrel here. Um, yeah, I gotta... Actually, wait, what am I doing? I don't even... <laughs> That's if I was trying to get up there, but I just need to get the hell out of here. Uh, just the, the collection of uh, rooms in each section of the boat uh, just made it really, really interesting to explore around. Um, and I just feel like I'm yammering on and on so let me just get bloated here again and then I will be on my way ooh -hoo, electric eels so there are many different types of sea enemies in this game which you'll be seeing even more of throughout uh, okay I can go in this door because I do have the blue key and also another thing about the interface is when the G that G is flashing Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh wow, that was like a Trojan horse. Oh ho ho. Yeah. That, I shouldn't have opened that. Oh, I should not have opened that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have opened that. Now he's gonna get out, and I'm gonna die. Nope, nope, I can sneak past here. Okay. But there are tra- I mean, literally, the game is called Treasure Trap, and that was a trap that I fell directly into. It's all about trying to- trap this poor defenseless diver who is only trying to uh you know make a make a profit um so in this room we see a blue fish which according to the game manual is supposed to be a piranha but come on come on is is that a like that's not a piranha looks like a blue goldfish Oh, I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I think the the box came in and covered the gold, so I I can't do anything about it. I can't even... I think I have to exit the room and come back again. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that's what I have to do. Yes. Oh, timing. Ha ha ha. Got it. Oh. Okay. Let's move on. 89 bars of gold. I'm doing pretty awesome here. Um, don't let him out. Do not do not let him out. I still don't know what they are. If anybody knows what these are supposed to be in terms of sea creatures, please let me know because it doesn't seem to be detailed in the manual either. Um, okay, for this one, uh, more tricks. There are a lot of tricks in this game. See, I cannot get back there. I'm I'm too tall. See, if this diver was actually my size, which is extremely short, uh, we'd be fine. I'd be able to get in there. I'd be able to, you know, slither underneath. 
But in this case, I need the octopus's help, and to do that, I need to drop a key for him. He's going to kind of turn wherever I drop the key, and I hope he turns in the right direction and not... No, yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, okay, now I'm just cycling through my keys. All right. Um, oh, okay. Nope, that did work. That did work. So now he is pushing them out for me. Uh, I need him to do that just one more time because I cannot reach that other one. Thank you, Mr. Octopus. See, this is what I meant the first time when I said friendly octopus, and then he just brutally murdered me. Uh, so that was not very nice. And once again, I get a save point, so I'm just going to save at number one, and CS188 is getting the... Uh, I can't fit that. Um, uh, what can I fit? I can't even... F I can't fit anything here. This character limit sucks. Okay. Good. Good. Got it. So, this is the air room. I have... If I ever... If I'm ever running extremely low on air, I can get plenty of air here. Uh, maybe I should just get one for the road, so that... And I wish I could take more than one air tank with me. I mean, it it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and... Oh, here we go. Time for fun. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is a fun room where um, you need to stay on the boxes. Actually, I am cheating right now, and I am on top of the jellyfish. Uh, that You're not supposed to be able to get on top of the jellyfish, but um, it's, uh, it's oh, ooh, almost fell off. Uh, it's really hard to be able to navigate the boxes otherwise because they just turn completely random direction. So I'm going to walk. Basically, the jellyfish will go in whichever direction I walk. So as long as that stupid... Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Let's get through. Oh, please. Let me get out of here. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. That was close. What am I supposed to do here again? I don't remember. Uh, I think I have to... See, this is very much a puzzle game, if you haven't already figured that out. Uh, I gotta let this guy out. Okay. And then he is going to move that sea anemone... I believe that's the name of them. That sea an enemy out of the way, and then there is gold hidden in here. And I just drop down. Cool. All right, let us move on. All right. Uh, that was easy. All right, so um, we have some elements of timing here. These will only go up at certain intervals, these uh, barriers. Okay, so I need to make sure I... Oh, I was not lined up. Okay, let's go, 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 go. What one? Oh, oh, crap. I'm stuck in here with the crab now. Where is he going? Okay, let's just go around and around until I can actually get out of here, please. Oh, man. I am... I'm out of sync. I'm out of sync with this. I'll just keep walking around until we actually get out. Okay. Whew. How did I do this game as a kid? I really have no idea. You see, what is the point of this room? This is like a bathroom. Is this is this where the bathroom is on the pea spoon? Maybe. Okay. Uh, so once again. Uh, oh, he, yep. Now I can't jump. Can't jump. I need to get rid of him. You know, a lot of this game is about tricking the artificial intelligence. So let's leave him back there. And now we are free. We're free. We're completely free to grab all the gold we want until the next room. So, oh, another one, huh? Well, you're not going to get me again. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Fighting the conveyor belts. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping got out alive. I have not died once. This is incredible. You guys should be very proud of me. I hate this room. Um, Alright, so I need to... Another thing about this game is you cannot always tell uh, where things are in the room because of the isometric nature doesn't have any depth to it. 
So there's no, you know, I can't tell sometimes whether things are in front or behind, and there are some rooms in particular which make this really difficult, like this one. Come on, can I just... <laughs> if I fall down there, that's just going to be certain death. Okay, this might take me a while, so I'm going to have to cut away. Come on. Okay, got on. Oh, when I fell and somehow I died. Okay, let's just ride this stingray, which is not always the safest thing because he goes down near the crabs quite often. Okay, let's get... Ah, yay! All right. Okay, and now we enter one of my favorite parts, this conveyor belt uh, maze. It's just like these absurdly pointless rooms almost. I, but they, when I was a kid, I, I found it really fun. Um, and actually, I should show you guys something. You press M, you get the, or I thought so. There we go. You get the map. This is the map of where you currently are in the world. Uh, I can use the arrow keys to go around. So this is, this shows all the rooms I've previously explored. And that's weird. For some reason, the room I'm in is not showing up as explored. Okay. Um, but each room also has a number assigned to it, you can see. So this is the, uh, the, the, the boat that I'm exploring, the Esmeralda. Um, so yeah, this map can be very useful once you get in the later stages of the game. Okay, so I think I'm going to do maybe just like one more room and then I'm going to leave this episode. Ho 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 ho. Oh ho ho. Okay. All right. Just narrowly escaped death again. I'm going to be saying that quite a lot here, I think. Um, especially with these rooms with Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh that w that's not fun. Oh boy. Let's go down here to th this room without dying. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get, okay, so if you guys are looking forward to more, uh, that's awesome. I'm going to be doing more of this game, and I'm also going to be starting up some other uh, Let's Plays for old DOS games. Until next time, this is CS, signing out.